Yeah, I'm always looking for an excuse to play an Ocean Man deck with cards like Atuma and Namor, and usually we'd have an Orca in here, but today we've got Scar in his place as an honorary Ocean Man member, because Scar is really nice with Namor and Atuma, especially if you got a Zabu in the mix, you can play like a Namor on turn three, and a Tuma on turn four, a Ronin on turn five, and then you have that zero cost Scar ready to go on turn six. You can play that alongside like a Mystique. It'll copy your Ronin for some big stats. You can weave in a Miss Marvel, a Cosmo to protect something, an armor for your uh, Atuma there to, to help support him as well as needed. And altogether, this deck can just pump out a lot of power using that Ronin Master Mold Maximus Core alongside, of course, Miss Marvel, and then Scar for the little bonus cherry on top late in the game for that crazy big power spike. Now, do keep in mind, Miss Marvel is uh, pending a nerf. There was like a leaked nerf that's going to require her to have two cards in a given location to receive her plus five power buff, which is clearly not ideal necessarily for Atuma or Namor who like to go it alone. So when that nerf hits, maybe in the next week or so, it seemed like, uh, then this deck might not be good if indeed that leaked nerf uh, comes true. But for now, at least this deck worked really well for me. I had a 70% win rate through my first 17 games. Uh, w reported some success with this one as well as its creator and uh, definitely a fun and different way to play Scar than I've seen in a lot of other Scar lists out there. So probably not the best climbing deck by any means, but a viable one, a consistent one, and playing some unusual cards always makes things a little bit more fun. Okay, Master Mold early is great. Cosmo we can definitely work with. A Cosmo risk a little bit for Mystique, a little bit for Maximus. Can be upside for Maximus depending if you, you know, you think the opponent has enough cards anyway, you can say, ah, no, I'm fine. We're gonna, we're gonna turn off the Maximus. I don't want you getting a combo piece or something. Fast hitting the Sentinels is funny. Luke's bar, yes, I'm a genius. I got out ahead there. Uh, Sentinels could let them play to Luke's bar though, because they're gonna have a pretty full hand. So that actually may not be super good for me. Probably want to go Ronin left at some point. So probably like Namor or Atuma mid is more likely. Oh, magic also just solves that problem too. That's fine. That lets me get more power to it as well. So it's not a big deal. Magic in general though, uh, magic plus Bast, interesting. Uh, so not like big cards incoming, maybe C3? Can I turn off C3 from the opponent anyway? Not really, no. Echo could hit a big hit, I guess. For now, let's go uh, Namor into Ronin. Hopefully we hit a Scar. We can hit Mystique. If we go Ronin left, Mystique can go like right or whatever. It's fine. Oh, Bishop and Sunspot. Whoa. Okay. Uh, Ms. Marvel's actually okay. A little late to know about it because of the Namor, but he kind of had no other options anyway. This is really there for the Scar potentiality more than anything. Not necessarily like he has to stay at 11, you know. I am Iron Man. Iron Man, Bishop. Is this Mr. Negative deck maybe? Sunspot's a little weird though, right? Sunspot feels weird to me. Zabu would let me play two fours next turn, but that doesn't really help because the Tuma can't really go anywhere anyway. If we want to play for Miss Marvel, Maximus can't go right because there's a Mr. Mold, Master Mold there. <laughs> Maybe we go mid. It's kind of scary to go at this Iron Man though, isn't it? It's like it really wants to go here. Maybe Scar goes there. I mean, this is not adding any power right now, but it adds power next turn when I Miss Marvel, right? It could go left. Do we really think we need it left? I'd rather them get the cards for the for the Ronin and the Mystique. I, I think it just goes mid. It's just the only place it makes any sense. It doesn't feel great by any means, but it's just the only place it works. Keep those big. Oh, another. That one's a buffed Iron Man side lay. That's Damn. super scary. Oh, Where is that Echo when you need her, man? Oh, we got to win this on just raw power. Oh, we do have priority. So this Echo actually is legit, isn't it? Am I going to try to win here? Probably, right? Two, three, five, two, three, one. Yeah, I mean, this is enough to really make them work for it. If they try to add more interesting ongoings here, I mean, there's a really good chance this is good enough. Let's see. Really good chance. Oh, they didn't even play anything mid. Maybe like an Iron Heart comes in though. Blue Marvel turned off. Let's go. 
Yes! Echo OP, dude. Echo is so good. So good. And the Psylocke is not going to be enough mid. Nice, dude. Nice. They did just beat me right. Really close. Blue Marvel would have been plus three, which really would have been plus six, which I guess would have been enough mid, right? Okay, uh, no Ronin for this Master Mold, but interesting Scar line. Negasonic's always a good card. Yeah, oh, Ronin, nice! So Namor Ronin is just a fantastic curve. Yeah, we'll put the Cosmo where the Ronin goes. Uh, That's really good for Maximus, but we could just shut off the, the opponent is snapping into Combertage. Maybe we just shut it off. We don't really care that much about the Maximus. Let's just shut it off while we have priority now. That's fine. Let's just stop it, right? I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. That also kept them from losing cards in hand, which is good for my Ronin, of course. So Namor here, and then we can go Ronin right, probably, to protect it. Although Ronin left might also be just fine in a lot of cases. That's our Negasonic. Oh no, it's Mystique, never mind. Mystique top deck there. Got us. Do I expect him to have like a Shang-Chi? No, not really, right? I think I just flip it back here. I mean, Mystique is good for the record. Mystique's really good. Absorbing man, cool. Now that's either Negasonic or Zabu. Oh, the Swarm's going back in hand keeps the Ronin big. I guess we would have always preferred the, uh... I mean, is this, is this math right? Maybe, maybe you go here to shore up this Ronin a little bit because they think I'm never going to play another card here. This is, the, the problem is this literally only adds one power mid, which feels so bad. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I think you do this instead, right? Like, if they want to take this, force them to take it, and then you just assume 13 and 6 here is enough. This does lose to like Shang-Chi a little bit maybe, but I think otherwise we're okay. Surely they're not gonna be ready for Scar and um, Echo stuff. It's like a, what, 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 what's, what's coming down here? I don't understand. Oh, it's being the Ronin Tiny. Oh, that's pretty sneaky, yeah. That's pretty sneaky, but still actually just a tie mid and it's still, dude, the, the Maximus just covers. Yeah, that's, oh man, that, oh dude, they're so bad at that Cosmo, yeah. They snapped into it, yeah. Yeah, Echo mid for sure, let's do it. Portrait looks funny. I know it's a Lyoth, but it looks like a dog, kind of. It's cute. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. Oh, gross, okay. Uh... All right, Namor writes pretty good. Mystique kind of dead. I mean, we have the option to add like a big card mid, either Scar or Ronin or something. So it's not it's not crazy that we can win mid still. It's just a little tough. Not a lot of space. I miss Marvel normally wants to go there, but it may not be worth it. Daily Bugle and a Thanos stack. We got the Time Stone. Let me skip uh, my turn four to turn five, which doesn't really help i guess for now we'll just go zabu i mean we want namor alone right so that we can play a scar sooner i don't think i can play this time stone it's just clogging out space too much i don't even know if the zabu is worth it it depends on my hand a little bit and what we draw it may not be now this is a deck that can run blob to win monster metropolis pretty easily we don't have a big blob style answer to anything you know we have to go about things a little more honestly so this feels like Scar next turn left, and then figure something out on turn six. Maybe a Ronin, maybe a Miss Marvel to support, but you worry a lot about Blob, like we said. Uh, Devil Dinosaur left is big. Can Scar plus stuff beat that Devil Dinosaur? Yeah, definitely. I guess we'll go Ronin for now then. That definitely goes head to head against the Dino. That pushes Scar to two, which lets me play the Mystique as well, which Mystique on Ronin's pretty good mid probably. Where does Scar go though? I guess Scar goes left? Maybe Mystique goes mid, yeah. Are we are we stranding that Namor? If so, we're probably like forcing them to blob. They're gonna play another five drop here. Or or two small cards, just kidding. Soul Stone is pretty good mid, yeah. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Echo. Whoops! <laughs> I forgot to! I forgot to, don't worry. I also didn't think about it. Uh, don't feel bad there. I mean, this definitely covers us the best, probably. 
Um, is actually Mystique going to be bigger than Scar? Hold up. Uh, it just sort of depends on the opponent a little bit. It's plus 14 right now. 10, I think, is very likely. I actually think 12 is the most likely. I think they play one big six drop very often here, like a blob right or something. If they play blob right, they just lose. So maybe they just know they're dead. Yeah, it seems that way. One big six never covers, and small cards probably don't cover either, particularly because I'm... I mean, God, that's actually kind of a crazy final turn when you look at this. We said Mystique's probably going to be 12 and Scar's going to be 11. That's a 23-point final turn. That's really good. And it's split, too. It's not like the blob where it's all in. That's kind of nice. Okay, Sinister London is great for some of our threats, like Ronin. Probably don't want to clog out space with Zabu, though, right? No, I think one's fine. We'll actually play the Namor... Hopefully hitting left and right so that we can play a Scar super cheap. That would be sick. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Spider-Man me, John! Yeah, I mean, if he goes mid, it's not the end of the world. It's, actually, we can still play a Scar either way next turn, honestly. We can just play a Scar and a Maximus if we, uh, if we hit both these. Hey, nice, what do you know? Oh... Come on, though. That's not very cool, though. <laughs> That's not very cool. Miss Marvel mid. It's weird. Miss Marvel left. If it rolls mid, it doesn't actually work left because there's two four drops. If it rolls right, I guess it's kind of free. Are we maybe just playing Rodin plus? No, I think. I think our final turn is going to be. Ro well, no, it can't be Scar plus Maximus. It's gonna be Ronan on five and Scar on six. So actually, yeah, let's just let's just play the Miss Marvel here then. If it rolls mid, you know, uh, it's not perfect. It's actually better right, I think, in this case. Although, I don't, is that true? It doesn't really matter. The math's kind of the same. Oh my god, we got around the Shang Chi early, bro. Are they gonna Are they gonna have an? There's no way they have an Odin. How do they activate this Shang-Chi? There's no way we're good to go. We're good to go. They don't, we're, we're fine. We're good to go. Um, two drops with Maximus are actually risky, but a six drop is fine. A six drop is fine, right? Because um, we are just dodging mid like crazy. Six drops fine though, because it doesn't affect our Miss Marvels, right? Now that these are on the flanks, they're only, only double cost are the fours. So they're not hitting each other anyway. We played a lot of cards. Is it enough? Can't be enough, can it? Chantress. Oh, that's actually pretty dang good. Yeah. But Scar is so big, and Ronan's pretty decent on his own, right? Like he's he's reasonably sized as is. So it's like, is that okay? I mean, we're definitely gonna lose mid here, but I feel like Scar is just so big he'll cover anyway. Let's see if that's true. Maximus is very big, but oh, was that? No, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, okay. It's close. I mean, not that close. This is why that Maximus buff is so nice. Like a 5-5 five five is not the end of the world, right? Like all of these cards have really nice base stats, even when they're ongoing is turned off. Like we still just had 16 power there and the opponent only had 19. So the scar just added, you know, more than enough basically. All right, Maximus and cloning vats is kind of fun. <laughs> it's just a good cheap 2-6. Like it helps the Ronin the first time around. After that, it's like they're probably gonna run out of cards, but it's fine. Just two sixes are great, especially if we don't have anything else to do right now. It's not bad at all. Rickety bridge, okay. It's nice usually, like something like a Tuma there late. I'm just looking about my lines here. Uh, does Zabu really help me here? Not, not for a scar. Like, I can play a four and a five anyway, so I think we just play the Maximus, honestly, man. Oh, I can't play a five, though, because of Dream Dimension, but I can play a four and a four. Does it make Scar less... Well, if I go Namor here and then Ronin left, I have a pretty good Scar. Or, well, no, I gotta play a Tuma. Or Miss Marvel. Marvel's just not good because I already double maximus Maybe I'm just playing Scar next turn, right? It's like Scar into Scar is pretty good. Don't hit Scar. Okay, that's fine. And I think that's actually the move, man. Oh, baby, that's way better now, too. Holy crap, that's better now, too. But I guess Scar is still better since I get another one in hand. Yeah, 
This is fine. This gives me a two cost scar in hand, which I can play with the pig actually now. Kazar? Okay. I mean, I kind of have to play a card right, but they're going to get it so free. I, I don't even think I bother. <laughs> I could just, cause like the only card I could play is so big, right? I'd have to waste such a big threat. I think I just play it mid. So take, take right. It's fine. We're not losing the other two basically. I guess a Shang-Chi definitely could, could hurt me, but that's about all. So we'll see. Maybe they got an Ultron or something here, but that's not good enough either. Yeah, they don't have it. It does kind of read like an Ultron deck. It's like a zoo deck that just didn't hit much. Interesting, big stuff. Thank you, Spider-Ham. Ooh, good of me. Give me them early game cards. Let's go. Zabu on two. Yeah, it's fine. We'll buff the Zabu too, actually. Well, it is kind of nice to buff Namor, but the problem is we don't know if he'll get we don't know if he'll land right <laughs> if we play zabu first he might whiff so we'll just do the zabu for now still very good uh if we cheat namor on three we can actually play scar on four if we hit it that's kind of nice because the miss marvel doesn't really advance any other plays but namor does that goes good to get in too dream dimension uh could save one of our four drops for that miss marvel's kind of perfect i guess Blade on an Infinite. Ooh, Ghost Rider suddenly getting very scary. Um, hear me out. If you play the Ghost Rider, you play it into the Namor, and you'd probably do it this turn, right? Hear me out. You want to beat the Namor. Like, you want to contest the Namor with 23, right? Uh, the Echo, I guess we go left for Xandar. I, I think we just call the shot on the Ghost Rider here because it's going to be hard to call it any other time. I think we just beat the Ghost Rider here. Oh. Well, a different... <laughs> a different problem was just solved. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright. Do we like Scar or Miss Marvel better next turn, I wonder? This is four and three. I can play a master mold. I mean, I can play a master mold anyway, but let's see. Here's the Ghost Rider. Sad timing, man. That's going to be tough to beat now. Or maybe impossible to beat. I mean, we can go at it, honestly, but it feels like a waste. The problem is I can't really support the attunement unless I had armor. Yeah, it's not an armor. This is 12. Well, I'm down by 20. That's 12. And seven. It's 19. Shoot. Not that it's right anyway, but I just the, the only way to support the Atuma is via Miss Marvel, right? Doesn't feel like it's enough. Maybe though, maybe. Oh God, it's not enough. Oh God, it's not enough. <laughs> oh God, oh, it's so big. Yeah, oh man, it's close. Wow, it's so close. Only we'd hit that armor, man. Oh my God, that's so close. Okay, yeah. Um, Zabu's great. Mystique maybe not so great, but Zabu left in particular is good. Ronin is a card that can win left uh, as well. Quantum Realm doesn't hurt him too much. Namor, that's also kind of true. Miss Marvel also helps out as well. Hey! Exact same Zabu and everything. Let's go. <gasps> More copies. <gasps> Shang-Chi. Okay, that's very good to know that that exists. That's <laughs> quite helpful yeah we'll want to make sure we cosmo uh maybe even cosmo left already for the ronin i don't know though there's so many spots that cosmo can be fitting we'll have to wait and see lady sif hits their scar okay so no black knight but we're thinking about ghost rider probably that does give my shang chi a target already though which is pretty cool so we can go namor here probably ronin left then we'll want a mystique uh maybe mid and then scar is zero it's pretty cool jubilee is a great card to get there because you get a big thing hopefully that's awesome wow it hit the ghost rider but they're locked out so that's actually pretty easy math for me now too uh i mean ronin makes it a little risky this is only four if i killed out there it's seven i wouldn't want to do that yet anyway but i'm just thinking i could potentially get away with playing the ronin somewhere else because we know a shang chi works there we don't know and actually mystique is even better here too yeah we'll just put ronin mid 
and then maybe go mystique cosmo next turn assuming we have priority that would be pretty sick uh, well they may they may rip a strong chi now on the namor for lack of anything better to do honestly assuming they try to save that for later which i think is the more common line then we might have a cool play here another scar hey, that's from mine that's my scar sir yeah i think are they still gonna i think they're still gonna wait on that that shang chi right Boy, i hope so also my scar might increase in cost here accidentally also i have a really good shang chi mid myself again as well this game's getting a little wacky i don't know there's a lot of ways to, to a lot of lines basically to take here oh that's spicy that increases the cost of my scar too um they don't currently have oh that's a good shang chi target for me as well now right they have so many good shang chi targets uh opponent has two car how many cards in deck uh one card in deck only the 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 jubilee and stuff thinned out their deck so that the the maximus here doesn't actually give me a lot of bonus cards is this enough five plus four is nine i think we said they had seven yeah that might be a better play Oh god, dude, I don't- this seems wrong. I don't know. This seems like it's not good enough. Oh no, yeah, we dodged the Shang-Chi by playing mid. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I think we get there, right? The two cards is exactly what we're worried about, but it's- it's fine. It's 8 to 7 and 26. Oh my god. It's too close, man. The bonus scar for them was nuts. The Ronin's got too small. It didn't hit Master Mold and uh, the, the Maximus. I mean, we could have played, but I think- I think Shang-Chi's always better. Woo! Okay, Echo mid. I mean, kind of crowded on space, but it's okay. It's still really valuable. We do need to make a decision about Master Mold. Like, do I think I have space for Master Mold? I mean, it's definitely hard for the opponent to dump the Sentinels. So if we get a Ronin, it, it, it definitely helps, but I'm also running out of space too. uh go get a maximus yeah cosmo at four i would have played this probably on curve always but i don't have any of my good cards right now man a tomb is a dead draw too really uh i mean miss marvel's a great draw i would say namor is okay we definitely need a ronin wait what tempo shang chi right now that's pretty crazy uh i guess we'll shore up here if we find a miss marvel it's gonna want to go mid so Kyera, Chong Chi. Okay. That's silence. That's the one place that's silence. Does that mean anything or do they just forget? I literally can't even play a Tuma, bro. Are you serious? This could stop a rogue against a Miss Marvel, I guess. I, I, I don't know. This hand is the worst hand I've ever had, I think. I don't know. I really do need a Miss Marvel, I think, to make this feel right. Scar? Okay. That gives you like a Ghost Rider play, maybe? Am I legit just playing the scar here and hoping they can't win two spots? Oh man, that's not good. I mean, this is technically more power. The problem is it has to go together, right? And if I want to play mid, they can't go together. So I don't know, man. I think I think we lose. So I think Chantress. That's not even enough there. Wait a minute. What? Is this... It's not a bot, right? Bots can't... Can bots have infinity avatar portraits? <laughs> Dude, this has been the weirdest game. Okay, big, fat hand, but... Uh, not a lot of early game, huh? Missing the, missing the good stuff. Oh, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. All right. Yeah, let's go armor into Marvel into Ronin. Shuri's lab is best with Scar, not Ronin. So let's think about that. This is a high Evo deck. So big stuff in Shuri's lab might make that hard to win, honestly. Strange Academy creating some problems too, huh? Maybe we go Atuma here to just accelerate the Scar discount. Man, these are all gonna like move into Shuri's lab though and just be completely useless, I'm afraid. I could play the Atuma here and try to force the armor over there. Like play Ronin. 
on four. Turn five is Marvel Mystique. Oh, that's so unlikely to work, though. So risky. It's so risky, dude. Oh, but then these might get spread out, too. Like, it's, it doesn't even matter. Like, if I play them together, they're going to split off, potentially. So, oh, no. The pain. The actual, literal pain of that magic. God, that hurt my soul, dude. Oh. God, that is painful, bro. That really hurts. I think Shuri's lab is gone now. We just have to try to win these two spots. That hurt, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> playing them together is the same as playing them apart if you have the Strange Academy, right? So, dude, I am unreasonably saddened by that play. So, Scar can go right. Cosmo is actually still pretty good, maybe. The Ronin is cool. The Ronin is cool. I mean, the opponent has to put something reasonably sized here is the good news. So that's kind of nice. Hello. So oh, happy. yeah, that's... I mean, that's so big that it's almost like they kind of wasted it, right? I would say. Maybe? I don't know if that's true. Two, three, five. So we can put a six there. Maybe we went the Cosmo mid. Problem is I can't play the Maximus there. I mean, I can play both, but then I'm really locking out my power. I'm a little worried about like Enchantress or Rogue or something mid is why I would want the Cosmo there potentially, but I just, I can't have two, two costs, right? Or I turn off the Miss Marvel, right? Hopefully with High Evo, that's just not a thing. Hulk? Okay. Oh boy. I don't see how we get big enough with just Scar, right? There's no way. Oh, Zabu is actually less power. Hold up. Zabu hurts us. Turns off Miss Marvel. She Hulk's too big. Yeah. They played a lot of cards left again. Oh, they're playing around Shang Chi. That makes sense. I get you. Oh, bro, they played an armor. I could have actually played a card there and tried to win. Holy crap, dude! Oh my god, I'm so close. By the way, we're so close. It's actually so close, mid. Oh my god so close dude i only dude if i played scar left i would have another 22 we would have been so close if i'd only known about the armor man that limbo just really hurt my soul echo mid sure we don't really need nor dimension right now i mean it's good to get i guess but not at the moment foils only it's a bot base portrait i think I honestly don't know the Quake art well enough to know if that's the base art, <laughs> to be truthful. I think it is, but I have no idea. Yeah, let's go Maximus instead. Without a without an Atuma in hand, the armor, I think, has less upside for us. Clearly, it's still pretty good with our big stuff, but... Oh, maybe this is, uh, maybe, like, destroy stuff? This doesn't look like... Is this... Do, do bots have this? No way. Seems really cool. Oh, jeez. Uh, are they going to play a Killmonger anyway? It's weird because they might not. And then I'm screwed. Uh, I'm going to skip my turn four, though. I want to Polaris and lock them out here if I can. It may not work. They might destroy here. It also might just be a bot, so who knows. Does the bot know to skip? I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a bot game and collapse to mine. Oh, oh, okay, nice. I got paid off, dude. Let's go. Paid off. I also did not skip. Shava. I mean, it still kind of reads like a bot, to be honest, but... This Polaris is sort of going in the wrong way now. I sort of opened up space for them. I kind of wish I'd played it left. I guess it wouldn't have pulled us in, though, huh? All right, so Atuma now honestly looks pretty good. You can go like Cosmo armor. Uh, we also can start playing these Jins probably too. Could actually go armor uh, Scar next turn, right? This gives plus two. Yes, yeah, so we'll be at seven. Yeah, that's probably better. Armor rights protect the Atuma. I guess Scar goes mid. I mean, I think again, I think this is a bot. I don't know if it matters. It might not be, but like, why wouldn't you put the Bucky here? It's definitely a bot, right? Like, we're gonna win this. Let's snap on this big old bot. All 
All right. I mean, Miss Marvel. In theory, we got a two, four, zero. We got a zero, two. I'm just thinking if I did the Miss Marvel, I could do the Mystique as well, right? It's pretty good. Scar can always come down next turn too. It's not hurt anything. Yeah, this is definitely the line. Let's see. These bot decks, dude, they're so weird. Hopefully they're locked out here. Hopefully this isn't like a Venom that gives them uh, space again. Again, though, not destroying the Bucky Barnes shows us a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, all right. Kind of impossible to lose here, of course. Mystique plus Scar. Guess I even play Scar mid? I, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. I guess in case of a blue Marvel or something, either way, it shores up either one. They are playing a lot of cards, to be fair. Man. Mystique being a, a 310 is pretty good, by the way. Just as an aside here. Death! Whoa! Okay, hold up. That was a monster turn. Oh my god. Got scarier than I expected. I thought we were sure fine, right? Holy moly. Oh my god. Okay, Quantum Realm's really good for Ronin Mystique, yeah. Armor's fine too, wherever. Nico draw two. Uh, yeah, actually, Ronin's pretty good mid, armor to protect it, or actually, Atuma can go mid, or uh, Ronin can go right as well as fine. Depending on the deck, one or the other could be bigger. Usually Ronin's bigger, though. Oh, Thanos, usually Ronin's way bigger. But we're fine, because we're going to cover, uh... Oh. Now that creates a bit of a pickly situation, doesn't it? Suddenly the pickles have entered this... <laughs> pickles have entered the territory here. Wow, Reality Stone TVA sucks, dude. I mean... Oh, I could have put Ronin right and Cosmo left. The problem is playing left, it just plays to a tie, which just doesn't feel very good. Yeah, really happy I didn't play left now. <laughs> really happy. Uh, which which of these do they decide to flip? Here is the question. Maybe mid? Maybe they leave right and try to flip mid since they're closer mid. And then Atuma just carries as a big old 410. That's the hope here. Yeah, maybe. Nice, let's go. Vision would have been fine, right? But it's just a math thing, right? Like if you're playing for the math, this is the absolutely the right way to do it. I am surprised to see them commit so many cards left. I mean, I guess these two only would have tied Deep Space anyway, but I, I, I'm I, thinking if I'm ahead left and I know that an opponent playing a card here most of the time results in a match, then I'm probably shoring up mid a little bit. They probably would have had to put both cards here to really make a difference, but that might have opened up Vision right. It just feels like a big commitment left with TBA. I don't know. Hard to know without seeing their hand, of course.